Fellas, um, we wanted a reaction, didn't we, from the City game? City game wasn't good, obviously. We wanted to a good performance after the national break, but sorry, we just didn't get it, did we, bro? It's a joke, man. Absolute joke, man. You get me? The, the, the manager, man. Come on, man. Where, where's the ideas in this in this team, bro? You're taking off Pogba, yeah? And Mato and Jesse Lingard, you're three, three most influential players on the pitch, yeah? And you're keeping off stiff match there, you know what I mean? That just sums up Mourinho right there. This guy is finished as a manager. He was a manager of the old era. The new era is attacking football, press. Win, win your first balls. There was no first ball, there was no 50 50 tackles. You know what I mean? Roy Hodgson, yeah? People laugh at this guy, yeah? But he has a clear imprint on his team. You had the Ambissa on the, on the right, you had uh, that, uh, what's that guy there? Oh, yeah. Van Arno, bobbing on forward. You know what I mean? You had the two in the middle sitting back. Sitting and on there. The break, they look dangerous, innit? They look dangerous, you know what I mean? He's got a player, Van there. And Mourinho, this guy's outdated manager, outdated tactics. And for me, this guy needs a goal, man. I don't want to be coming here every day and thinking, last 10 minutes ago, now nah, we're not scoring. People leave it out there, you know what I mean, 10 minutes ago. You know what I mean? It's a joke, man. That's what you should be doing. You know what I mean? Should be scoring goals, entertaining the fans, but this guy's not bringing that. And it's a joke for me. At least a goal, man. Sorry, saying, you know, Jose's outdated, he's done, he's finished. I mean, me and you've been speaking over the, over the course of the weekend, and you, you know, you weren't even sure. If he'd get another job, he said he should just go to the internationals. Like, what do you make of the whole thing, man? Like I say, he said he's dated. He's dated, he's done. He's done at Manchester United. And I said it on previous fan cams, he's done. You know, we want attacking football. He's old school football. And we don't want to see that. We want, we want, to, we want to go with the times. You know, we want attacking football. We want to see them. Them strikers that we had back in the days. You know what I mean? Just bombing. But you see away from Jose, though. You look at our attacking players, like Sophie was saying. They didn't have a good game. Martial was probably the worst I've seen him in, 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 in a good little while. Pogba was bad. We've always gone and had three, four strikers, and now we've gone to one. And this guy... Who's, like, undroppable as well. Guy, like, yeah. This guy is as heavy as two people. But he, he, his touch is so heavy, it's unbelievable. He's just shit. Like, why... He, from the player he was last year to this player, he... He ain't, he's nothing. He just looks finished right. as well. He's saying the players weren't good, but it's, it's a style, man, you know what I mean? You see, you got Damian there, and you got a young, so wide, yeah? But the, where's the wingers? They're so narrow. But Mourinho's telling them, stay narrow, you know what I mean? Marshall would, if Marshall's playing right now, he'd say, stay, I'll stay wide, and I'll drag the defender in, and I'll take him on. But Mourinho's saying, no, stick to that position, stick to that zone. You know what I mean? Stifling the players, man. Like we don't have, like, fluidity yeah. for, throughout Pogba the front three. Pogba had a poor game. Pogba had a poor yeah. game because there was no runners. Lukaku there, stiff guy, man. See that touch shed, man? Oh, man, we don't have a strike of top quality. If Sanchez, Come on, man. if Sanchez started in the middle, I reckon it would have been a different different outcome. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because Sanchez, as soon as Sanchez come on today, he just wanted to push forward mm. and, and put that ball up front. But, mm. all right, it was to Fellaini, mm. but... Yeah. Reality I'm, check I'm today, just, though. Reality check. I mean, me. you're talking about reality. reality to finish check. off, what's, what's, what's the season saying now? What, it, oh, nothing done, to play we're for. We're done. We're done now. Like, it's, it, we just got to play game by game. And just... Yeah. I, I'm not... We need to get real. Look, I, I, I'm deflated. just so yeah. deflated, yeah. Flex. We need it's to get unbelievable. Real. We, need we need to get real. We need to get real here. Yeah. Top six club at best, I'm telling you now. We haven't got top striker that can score 30 good goals. Top six at best, yeah? And let's just, you know what? Let's ride out the season. That's how sad it is, man. Let's ride the season out. You know what I mean? Let's, let's, let's get this manager out. Let's, let's get a new idea. Let's get a new idea into this team and say, listen, we're playing attacking football to the end of the season. And for next season, we've got a, a clear, over the preseason, we've got a clear plan. And we're going to move on from there. But for this season, ride it out. Because right now, top six club at best. Real talk, man. Real talk. Rory, Dreadful performance today, yeah. awful, not the result we wanted, um, especially after that City game. What do you make of it? Uh, same as it last week and the week before and the week before, it's just nothing. If I'm honest, I don't even think we're going to be coming here on Thursdays next year. I don't, even, I don't think we're going to be coming for any other football apart from Premier League in English football. We've got, we're probably not even going to get in Europa League, if I'm honest. At the way we played today, it's just awful. I've never been more excited to get home and do my homework in my life. <laughs> Sorry, but like, it's so Education is the key, though. That is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This dire. It's just. It's if you look at the attacking players today, no one turned up. No one had a good game. But you look at the the changes that Mourinho have made. What did you make of that? Taking Pogba off, taking Matter off, leaving the likes of Matic on, bringing on Fellaini. What did you make to those changes? People say Pogba's bad. People say Pogba's awful. But like, like today, he played all right, uh, considering the the players that were playing around him and how they were playing. Like Pog Pogba ran that game whilst he was playing. I just feel bad for him at the moment for the people who are playing around him. Like Lukaku, Jesus man, he's so. What did you make bad. of him today? Like, he's... <laughs> he's just awful. 
the ball came to him at one point and he passed it back. He went to control. It, it, it was a first touch, but it was actually a pass. It, it ended up being a pass. You're yeah, right. it, was, it was so bad. If he turned round and started running, he would have made a chance. But it's just Lukaku in it. And we thought, <laughs> Where do we go from here? You know, fans before you have said top four is done, it's finished. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with it. I don't. I, top six is gone. If I'm honest, <laughs> like uh, you, just, uh, you were saying earlier, mm. Bournemouth playing at the moment with under Eddie Howe and they're playing better than United with Mourinho. Get that fraud out of my fucking football Like, club. like what? <laughs> <laughs> Get him out! Yeah, exactly. Fuck off! <laughs> do you want? Do you want him gone? No, do you want him gone, Mourinho? Yeah. Be honest with yourself. Do you want to go? It's time that he needs to go. But, but I just don't know who to bring in. I want Eddie Howe. He would do. Eddie Howe would do. Pochettino would do. But will we get him? Will someone want to come? Who will want to come to us at the moment? Because our team is diabolical. We need someone that can come, that can play, that can play decent football for us and, and help us. Because at the moment we are just an absolute shambles, and we just we just need someone to come in. Awesome, boy. Cheers, George. Uh, we just wanted to see a reaction, didn't we, from that City game? Obviously, that was a horrendous game. International break, you're thinking, right, come back. Palace at home should be a very winnable game. Yeah. Nothing to do. No, I mean, like you say, we should be winnable. We should be going out. I said before the game, I was like, you know, I'd love to kind of come off the international break, go and stick three or four past them, you know, real push back into it leading up to Christmas. But in all honesty, like today, I was just kind of first half I was bored, second half I was kind of bored and frustrated, and I'm just I'm, kind of, I'm looking at this team, like my team, and I'm thinking, what are we actually going to do to beat this this side that we're playing against? Um, it's Crystal Palace, like I mean, it just didn't feel like the goal was going to come, did it? I know the keeper made maybe a couple of half yeah. decent saves, but other than that, there wasn't like that wave after wave where you're like, we're knocking, we're knocking, we will score. You didn't get that feeling today? Not at all. I mean. From a supporter's point of view, you know, even if we're not going to win, we want to create chances. We want to have an absolute, you know, real go at them. That didn't happen today at all. And so, how are you going to score the goals if you're not creating the chances? And I think, from the outset, my my kind of view on things is at the moment we don't have a style of play. So Liverpool play high intensity, high pressing, you know, and I'm not aspiring to be Liverpool, but at least they know what they're doing. And the problem that we've got at the moment is I just think we kind of go out there as individuals, don't play for each other, don't create anything. In, in all honesty, we're getting to the end of Kyle, um, I spoke to you before the game, he's a bit optimistic, but what do you make of that? It's just expected now, isn't it? It's just, it's been happening all season, Spurs, West Ham, mm. now this. What do, we, what do we have to, what does he have to do to get sacked? What does he have to do? All the managers at other clubs will get sacked by now, they'll be gone. Why do you think they're standing behind? Do you think it's as simple as that that they know it costs too they're much? Not, they're not football people. They're not football people. They will not sack him until it's impossible to get top four. Because the Champions League money will come through, which will help. They'll put that in the back pockets. There's nothing else. There's nothing else they will do. Do you think a different manager with these with the players that we have gets more out of that? Out of what we have? Because some people say the players are good enough, the manager's just poor. We've got Other people are saying got, our, got our squad's squad just not good enough. No, no play. We've got a squad there to challenge for the title. To challenge. Mm. I, I don't care about, oh, City have got uh, this player, Liverpool have got mm. this player. No, we're Manchester United. Mm. They, 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 Manchester United, we're not a small, we're not Tottenham, we're not mm. Arsenal. We're we need to challenge every single year. And with this guy here, we're not going to challenge. Mm. We're not going to challenge. There's no, there's no effort, there's no desire, there's no passion, there's no nothing. I think the players aren't playing for him. There was, a, there was a little turning point or mini turning point where people were like, do you know what, the players are back on board, we're getting a little bit of the old Mourinho back, but three games later, we're back to square one again. Even, even at the end, Lindelof, injury, he was running his heart. That's not for Mourinho, that's for the fans. That, the fans were willing him to that tackle. There was no, there's no link between the player and the manager. It's like they're separated apart from his little group of players. He talks, he talks to them, he doesn't talk to anybody else. You can, it, it happens at every club he's been at. Chelsea, he bullied Hazard. Mm. United, he's bullied Pogba. Real Madrid, he got a whole group of them wanting him out. Mm. It happens all. We, so you just see it as like a, a common thing with him, right? wherever common. he goes, that's just what happens. It's common, and the football's common as well. The, his football belongs with the dinosaurs somewhere. Because mm. th th this football does not belong here. It belongs on a Sunday league pitch somewhere. somewhere. It just belongs somewhere that's not here. Yeah. It's not acceptable. It's, it, he should he should never manage a club a football club again. He should manage go to international football now because mm. that's all. He can't he can't mess up any transfers. He can't fuck up any players. Yeah. It'll be impossible. He can't mess up any players if he's in international football. Thanks for talking to us, Carver.